Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to live stream Sunday. Hopefully, everybody had a great weekend. Uh, yeah, the, the weather has been kind of, it's been good. It's been good. It's a little rain, like a, a rain pretty much on and off through Saturday, Saturday morning. Uh, we've been getting a lot of work done. You notice there hasn't been a lot of videos going out. It's because we're taking care of business this week. This is usually about this time of year we take care of business. And uh, that's where the fun fun stuff comes, like paperwork and all that. But, um, but yeah, we got a lot more great adventures coming up. we got some folks coming in. Hello, Matt. How are Hi, you Matt. doing this evening? Hi, Danielle. Sheila Perry. Beba. Hello. Hello. Hi, Annette Hi, Harvey. Hello. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Koala Bear. The live stream Sunday. Uh, GP's in here. Hello. Footprints in the Pines. Hi, Retreat Nature 2. Steven. Ron and Connie. Hopefully Ron's feeling better. Uh, Retreat to Hi, Nature. Connie. I like your name. Hey, Steph. Hi, Dingy Dingy Footprints in the Pines. Hi, Mary, Carrie. AKA Bubba. Cherry, Crispy. Hi, Psychi. Car Guy. Psy Car Guy. Psy Car Guy. Hi, hey, you're doing SLS Barbecue. Monica's in here. Live stream Sunday. Hi, Danielle, uh, Liz, Jimmy, and Linda Holstinger. Hi, how you doing tonight? Danielle says, lots of love from Israel. Well, well, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I was thinking a lot about Israel, actually. Pretty cool. Hi, Penny. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Dean, Daniel, Cannon. Of course, I didn't be able to find anything I'm ever looking for in here. Hi, Don <laughs> W. Hello, Don W. Hi, Marie, Marie Maria, Prince and the Pines, Marilyn, Buddha Mom. John, hi, Texas Steve, That's great Steven, news, Ann Mack, Queen B, Liz, Tennessee Nate. Hi, Ken Green, Smoky Mountain Hello. Treasure Hunter, Larry Scratchers. Looking great. Yeah, I got, I, I don't know, I got, I, he looks it's good. Sunday, so I got my hat on. I, I put this hat on just before <laughs> I went live. I figured I'd switch it up a little bit. Got a little bit of an island vibe going on, right, I guess. Uh, even over here in the, the Great Smoky Mountains. Hello, Texas Steve and Max in here. Beautiful day. A beautiful day in Kentucky. Murray, Kentucky. Are you, Anne, are you anywhere near the, the eclipse? Are you going to be able to pick any of that up? Um, One of your videos. Hi, Danielle, Dolores, Carol. Smoky Mountains Cats crew. Michelle, Hello. Margie, Dean. Hello. Tennessee, oh, Kurt, Andy. Tennessee Nate is in here. Hello, Tennessee Nate. My family and I are going to go to Frankenbooth, Michigan in two weeks. Are there mm -hmm. any places we need to check out? Get some chicken. chick. You know what I mean? Any of the places. Um, You know what I mean? Either Zenders or um, yeah, definitely get, get some chicken and go to Bronner's. <laughs> You'll love it. You'll love it. Have a good time. Hopefully the weather is good for you. <laughs> they had some snow up there this weekend. We got a lot of great photos of the snow, uh, that her sister and, and toe were sending us. And Hi, stuff. Toe. So, toe's in here. Hello, Hi, Toe. Lena, Dean, Maria, Maria, Michael. Toe Mitch. is in the house. Rhonda and Gail and Bonnie. Story has it. Hi. Hi, Carrie, Martin, Marilyn, a Pumon, Liz, and Ken. A little birdie was telling me that Toe might be interested in maybe a YouTube uh, channel or something <laughs> that is maybe in the future, maybe something like that. Uh, maybe a place where you guys can go over there and harass him. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, hello from South Carolina. Hello, guys. How are you doing? We got some folks here. Happy Palm Sunday. Yeah, today's Palm Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Palm Sunday. Um, Roy and Maria, hello. Gosh, I see everybody here. Maggie girls in here. Watch a video where Dawn and you are hair, your haircuts. Oh, yeah, that was a long time. It was during COVID. Mm -hmm. That's a very popular video. In fact, a lot of folks said they found us through that, that little live stream that we had during COVID. It was crazy. It was a wild a time back then, guys. Wild time. Uh, happy Sunday from a cold Ohio. Oh. Cold Ohio. Penny Weaver, can I get a goat for me and my yes. husband are 32 years? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. 32 years. Wow. That, that's awesome. Um, Love your channel. Hi, Daniel. Day. You guys ready for the beach? Uh, supposed to be visible from central Ohio. I think we could see a little bit of the eclipse here. Like, I don't know what the percentage is here. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. We're still de debating. I know we only got like, you know, a week or so to really make a plan to go to to see uh, the eclipse. Um, so I don't know if what we'll do. Uh, we got a lot of other things coming up too, and it's kind of like 
Just an ass. My sister Vicky's birthday. Hi, Jean. Hello, Vicky. I mean, Jim. Happy birthday, Vicky. Hello, hello, hello. I see Colette's in here. Uh, Marilyn Poodle Mom. Hi, Howard, uh, Howard Ellis. Billy Garrison, welcome. Uh, Penny Your mom turned 75 yesterday. Happy birthday. Um, big Happy foot, birthday. Uh, 22 mom's 75th birthday. Um, any big plans this week? This week, um, I have big plans coming up. And we got a lot going on. Like, I know the last month or so has been kind of relaxed. Uh, you know, just I got lots of things I got to do. Um, you know, just, you know, things in general. Uh, but starting coming up in the middle of April, things are really going to start heating for us. We're going to be, there'll be something going on almost every single day. So we'll be back into that. Um, and it's kind of nice. Uh, of course, I got done with the taxes. And taxes are are not fun to do. You know, I got to sit there, I got every single receipt. Every single thing that's ever happened, I gotta put it into this and that. I gotta make sure the Excel, Excel sheets are perfect, everything. Um, you know what I mean? And then I got to spend, you know, some time on the phone, with CPA, and and talk back and forth, and you know, this, that, and the other thing. And it's a lot of fun. I know a lot of folks are going through that right now. Happy um, birthday, Vicky! So, but uh, yeah, you're leaving Detroit, Michigan, right now, Michelle. Wow! I bet cool, you it's cool. cold there. Yeah. <laughs> they got snow. I might have to be up in Michigan um, real soon for some uh, some things I got to take care of. So, um, yeah, as long as the weather's good, right? I'm okay with Michigan. Uh, the only time I don't like, you know, Mich winter is like fun. Snow. Winter's fun in Michigan until you got to shovel it or live in it, right? I mean, I don't mind going up there and even uh, I got a um, my one friend up there. He's got snowmobiles and he's always like, hey, come on up and do some, you know, it'd be great for a YouTube video, right? Yeah. The problem is, is the snow, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't we'll want to shovel on it. Yeah. That's when you have to get in your driveway. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just kind of like, I mean, I don't mind going up there and visiting, but that's probably about it when it comes to snow anyways. Any other time here in Michigan is awesome. Oh, um, uh, uh, hey. hi, Amy. Can you uh, oh, say you happy birthday to my mom, Amy? Yes. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. It was great seeing y'all. They said they seen us at the Passholder Day. Oh, okay. We ran in, ran into a lot, a lot of, of folks. folks. And I do, and I do, we were overwhelmed at sometimes. So yeah, thank you all so much uh, that if you guys came up to us and said hi, um, it was kind of like later on after we, we get home from, you know, like an opening day or something, we start thinking, we're like, oh gosh, I, I hope I like, you know what I mean? Like you, you second guess yourself, I guess, in other words. So, and we, we kind of always have like a weird empty feeling. It's kind of a weird thing that we do. We meet a lot of folks. Like, did we meet with you all? You know what I mean? Did we say hi and things like that? Cause sometimes folks will say, Oh, you, you know, you didn't say hi or whatever. And it's like, I didn't mean that, but um, anyways, Can you see us say hi. Yes, definitely. If you guys are out there, if you guys see us, no matter where we're at, um, in fact, a couple came up uh, at a stoplight, and they were like, hey, will it on, and all that. It was great. We get that all the time, too. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely come up and say hi. Yet again, we don't know you, and you you probably know us, right, you know, you know, through the videos or whatever. You got to say something. You got to break the ice so we know to come on over and, and talk to you, right? Um, uh, let's see here. We got uh, Rhonda Gale's in here. Hello, Pixie Dust Traveler. How are you doing, Pixie Dust Traveler? I don't want to dig too much, but are, do you have any more cruises planned in the future? And hopefully, we get them get together. Um, I know opening day was kind of hectic for us, and uh, probably hectic for you too. But one of these days, we'll have to get together when you come to town. Maybe just before an opening, that would be great too. We can just meet somewhere and talk. I felt like we didn't get to really talk or that much because there were so many folks around. But um, hey, Smoky Mountain Man. Hello. Hey, Dan. Dan's in here. Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hi, Smoky doing? Mountain Man. Hi, Ken S. I hope we get a chance to meet you on opening day of Dollywood Christmas. Uh, chances are, Christine, we'll be there. Uh, never promises, right? But most likely we're going to be there, right? Um, you never know what the world will, will throw at us. Uh, see here. Uh, Vanna says, my husband and I are going on an NCL breakaway for your 30th wedding anniversary. Well, first, you got to go. 30 years. Congratulations. Congratulations. That sounds like a fun. That sounds like fun. You know, I've been doing a lot of research on just different travels we want to do. And 
I keep coming back to cruises as of right now are reasonable for a lot of things, but they're starting to creep up in price too. And, you know, um, so yeah, you know, trying to travel out of budget can be really hard these days. And uh, I think we'll make a video. We were talking about making a video about traveling on a budget in the future. Some folks want to know how we do it sometimes. Uh, it just takes a lot of planning and you don't always get to sit in the cushy seats. You don't always get the great big Cadillac to cruise around and use your rent a car. Sometimes you'll get the, you know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, you get to travel and that's the thing, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's, not, it's not the fact of it's, it's the experience, right? Um, yeah. Norwegian cruise line is NCL, right? That's the way I was taking it. Uh, hello, Ann Maxson here. It's great to see you all. I used to live in Ann Arbor. Uh, also Lakeland, Michigan for about three years. That's awesome. Ann Arbor is a great area. They have this um, place down there called Mongolian Barbecue. So the company that I worked for, mm-hmm. they did a lot of business in um, mm-hmm. in Ann Arbor. And I used to go there quite often. And, of course, we always have these luncheons. And, we would, and the place to go was the Mongolian Barbecue. I think they're everywhere now. But back then. Happy birthday, Ron. Happy birthday. It was like the thing to go. So that's where you take your business, you know, and you get the raw food and raw meats and all that and the vegetables you take them up and they cook it on the on the it's really cool i don't think there's any of that i don't i don't think there's anything like that around here um but it was really cool downtown ann arbor too uh, but we did yeah we did a lot of work in there always on there um uh, that's fun it's fun just a little memory from the past uh from my past anyways i know folks are always interested in hearing about like certain things that come to mind um hopefully uh, Yes, so Easter, um, we won't, there's a good chance we will not be live tomorrow. I mean, yeah, take that back. (laughs) My my tongue got ahead of my brain there for a second. We will not be live next Sunday because it's Easter Sunday where we're spending time with family. Um, So I might go, maybe I'll do an extra live somewhere. I don't know where. Um, But yeah, there's a good chance. I don't see us being live next Sunday, so. So, uh, yet again, hopefully you guys all have a great Easter. Oh, thanks, Um, Delano. Yes. Uh, GP says, what automaker did you, what uh, what automaker did I work for? Uh, We worked for, we didn't work for a particular automotive company. We worked on multiple companies, mostly Ford, GM, Chrysler. Uh, The big three is what they, you know, refer to as. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of stuff for Jeeps, um, a lot of plastic components, interior pieces, seat belts, um, you name it, gas tank components. In fact, uh, if I was in Ann Arbor, and I was if I was in Ann Arbor, we were dealing with plastic gas tank compo- components, and that's what we did. Yep. Nice shirt. Well, thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I like this shirt. It's one of my fa- one of my favorite. Uh, um, it's my, my Sunday shirt, or if I'm going to go out, it's kind of a little different than the rest. Um, can't believe it. Okay. Hi, Marilyn Poodle Mom. Ohio Nance is only three minutes of e- uh, total eclipse, eclipse darkness. 75 has construction by Ford Field. Yeah, they've been working on 75 for a long time, haven't they? Happy birthday, James. <laughs> the big 4 tomorrow. I will say one thing about Michigan. It, it, to me, it seems like the roads are really good. And yes, happy birthday. Hi, players for life. Hi, Nick and Carol's Empty Nest Adventures. I'm turning 50 on Tuesday. My wife's birthday is Wednesday. Happy birthday, Nick and Carol. Happy birthday. 45 degrees in Illinois. Get them two. <laughs> well, it's oh, Nick, there's two. Nick's birthday tomorrow and her, his wife's next uh, week. One ringy dingy's in here. Hello. Please say happy birthday to Terry. It was yesterday. Happy birthday, Terry. Happy birthday, Terry. Got a lot of birthdays. How are you from Texas? Hi, Rick. I think like um, March and April is a lot of, a lot of birthdays. It seems like. Uh, you saw the new Ghostbusters. Uh, I ha- yeah, I seen it. See, it was out Frozen Empire. Um, haven't seen it yet either. So, I mean, I haven't seen it. How was it? Did you enjoy it? I heard mixed. I, I don't know. 
have heard some mixed re 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 feelings Wait, about it. Wait, your birthday was last Friday. Happy birthday, Erica. Now, a movie that I'm really excited for is the Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Have you guys seen the um, the previews for that? Of course, I grew up watching, uh, you know, those type of, you know, Beetlejuice and all that. And I'm excited for that. Mm -hmm. I, I might actually try to attend the premiere or at least try to get in there, you know, the first couple showings and um, and watch that. I, I'm really excited for it. I hope it's really good. Eddie Stedman has a Robin pecking on his vehicle's windshields. Oh, boy. Not those vehicles, Eddie. You better get them birds off all them Corvettes you got. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, we, 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 um, we were very, very blessed to be able to see Eddie. Uh, it was about, about a week ago. Mm -hmm. And in one ringy dingy. And uh, it was great getting with you all. You guys are all uh, wonderful, wonderful souls. Hi, GP. And, um, it was great. It was great to be able And he had an yet another... Another different Corvette. Hi, Liz. <laughs> don't want to embarrass you. Comment. I don't think you can embarrass Eddie. I don't think so. He's he's a pretty good guy. We're talking about the Beetlejuice thing. We we, yeah. we met him. Yeah, that, that was, was fun. fun. He was great. Um, that was a great clip. You know, my camera was acting up. I lost stabilization in that video. And uh, yeah, it was nice seeing you and Jeff Chapman. Ronald Golden, hello. Seventy-eight degrees and long. Boat Key, Florida. Oh, wow. Thank you, Ronald. Ronald's a, another, uh, you, you've been following the channel for a long time. Happy anniversary, David. It's 10, 10th wedding anniversary. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Don't say it. Uh, not three times, right? But anyways, that sounds like a hi, fun Howdy, movie. Hi, howdy, duty. You're on vacation in Florida. Glad to see us live. Oh, wow. Thank you for coming and saying hi to us. Well, thank you, guys. It's awesome. And Jeff Chapman. Yes, yeah, so we got to hang out. With Jeff Chapman. If you guys don't know him, um, he's a very great um, gospel. Um, I, I think he's bass. <laughs> I always say bass, baritone, bass. Um, very, very nice, nice guy. And um, I always like uh, it's just such a pleasure to be around and he's just a great guy. So, and Eddie, you're a great guy too. We had two great guys. It was, it was a lot of fun. And don't forget about Wondering Eating. Dawn had a good time with wondering, mm -hmm. talking girly things, right? Whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, um, what else we got going on? Hey, uh, Smoky Mountain Bless, how you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Uh, we went and saw the sunrise at the Smoky Mountain in the morning. This morning? Awesome. Or in the morning. There's a lot of great, great places to do it. A lot of folks. Uh -oh. will, I, think, I think it was just you. Um, a lot of great. Uh, Cleman's Dome is a great place. Even though, I don't think Cleman's Dome is open. When is Cleman's Dome open? Uh, April 1st. Cleman's Dome opens April the 1st. Roaring Fork opens April something. Uh, April the 9th. Unless they change. Unless the National National Park might change those times. I don't know. But it's usually when they're open. Rich Mountain don't open. Opens Rich Mountain opens the same time Roaring Fork does. So. Hi, Daniel Day. Hello, hello, Daniel. Uh, have you ever been to Serpent Mountain, Ohio? I have not. I've never even heard of it. Is it like hiking? What what is it, Brandon? Happy birthday, Tammy! Hi, Happy Ron. Happy birthday, Tammy! Uh, say hey to the kids, Chris. Oh, you already said that, Chris and Robbie. Is Roma table worth it? Zachary, I it, it depends on what you like. If you like noodles or you want pizza, we didn't have the pizza though. So, um, Roma table, I, I thought was good. Um, was it the best Italian I've ever had? No, <laughs> but it was good. It was good. Mm -hmm. I, it depends uh, on what you like though. Um, yet again, we're in a tourist area, so it's a little pricey. Um, you know, we have a review, our review kind of gives us at least gives what we feel about it. Hi, Olivia. Um, but yeah, 
They explored the Smoky Mountains because of us and went to Burger oh, Master. It's their favorite. Did you? Yeah. Did you? As long as the fries are hot. Yeah, don't <laughs> steal the fries. Right on. Uh, Jeffrey and Valerie from Cleveland, Tennessee. Hello. That'd be We're have a meet up and Thursday. greet again. We haven't scheduled any um, any meet and greets. Uh, it's kind of one of those things right now. What's going on in our lives? Uh, hopefully, this summer maybe we might have a couple of them here and there. Happy birthday, Dolores. Should be 72 on Thursday. 72, congratulations. And my step, my step grandson just got a brand new Corvette. That's awesome, Eddie. Can you tell Travis happy birthday? Happy birthday, Brain Travis. Says 40. And Dolores, that's what I was thinking. Like, I am, uh, yeah, I'm getting closer and closer to 50, and I feel like I'm like 25. I mean, my brain wise, right? Uh, I don't know. My body ain't starting to feel my, I'm starting to feel my, yeah. like I'm starting to feel a little age. Like there's certain days I just don't want to, you know what I mean? Like go climb a mountain or something. <laughs> Last time we knew about the old chicken guy in Gatlinburg, it was closed yeah, for um, yeah, remodeling. Yeah. And now it might yeah. be closed so, for good. No. So yeah, it's closed for good. Chicken guy's I like your shirt. Chicken guy will not well, come Well, it, it said remodeling. Then it said something um, different. So. so there is something else going in there. I can't recall. Someone was telling me. I was talking to somebody the other day. Kevin likes your shirt, Will. Well, thank you. Um, I see your comment. Thank you so much, Mary. There is a, there's something else going in there. I can't recall what it is right now off the top of my head. I just barely, I can't remember what we were talking about. But it's going to be a different restaurant. But the, yes, the one in Orlando, chicken guy here is not faring very well either even though they're busy all the time um i'm hearing that there's could be some struggles with that location too so it sounds like to me the chicken guy is kind of like on rocky waters the whole you know there's been a few locations that have went out already the dawn the so, best birthday month is coming in april mine's the last day of april <laughs> yet again chicken guy um i would say that uh Go to Chick Fil A. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell you. Go to Chick Fil A and get 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 chicken tenders there. Direct TV. Hi, one down. Looking to pick up a new tablet. Just wondering what kind of tablets you guys use. Oh, these ones here are um, these are your Samsung. I, I'm a Samsung guy, right? I, I don't know what, what what model these are. They're like sixes. They're they're the they're the late. They're not the latest model. There's a new Samsung that's out. This is the model before, so it's like. I couldn't tell you right off the top of my head. I don't have my box here. I can't recall. I don't want to give you the wrong um, wrong thing. But, yes, I, I like Samsung. But, you know, it depends. I, I, I have a lot of friends who have uh, iPads and, and stuff, and they love it. So, you know, I guess everybody's got a little different. This is what I, I like. Also, I like that they communicate very well with everything else I want to do with them. I saw you guys at Dollywood opening day. I wish that. My wife and I could have said, yeah, he could have come up and talked to us. I know a lot of folks that they've seen us talking to other folks and they didn't want to interrupt. No, guys, interrupt. Please interrupt. <laughs> um, you know, so please interrupt. Okay, let me go up. Oh, no. Uh, Y'all be back in Orlando soon. So... We we will not we will not be in Orlando until after summer, unless something changes. Things can always change for us. You know, next week we could something could happen and we might be down in Orlando, but we do not have any plans for any Orlando or any Florida at all at that until after summer. So, yeah. Yet again, we can always change. We're very, you know, like I'm always consistently looking at cruises. And I'm always looking at the last minute cruises. And if something pops up, we might jump in the car and make a beeline too in Florida. And some people will say, Well, a week ago you said you weren't going to be in Florida. Well, ta-da, ta we're here, right? So, but yet again, at this moment, I do not have any plans until after um uh after. And plus, I don't <laughs> and all my friends in in or in Florida. They say, do not come to Florida at all during summer. And if you do, they're going to say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's the wrong with you? I heard Eminem's restaurant, Mom Spaghetti, open where the chicken guy was. Okay. Yeah, um, that is a restaurant that I was 
wanted to do so bad when we were up there at Christmas time. And we just never made it. Mm-hmm. We we did everything else but that. So but there's also the new Shack restaurant that opened in Michigan too. But we oh, do is got it? In yeah, Michigan? Yeah, Shack Shack. I thought there was one Shack, up in chicken, else. chicken uh um but I believe you think he went to his grand opening there. I don't know. I don't know if Shaq that's a good is question. that'd be I would like to I that's I would like to meet him. He's such an 80s icon, <laughs> 90s icon. Yeah. Um I would um, but there is one opening in Chattanooga. So hmm. and that should be coming up like really shortly. Michigan is a is a state, Don. Yeah, Jeremy, we know that we're from there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm being attacked on Michigan stuff. So. <laughs> How you doing, Jeremy? How's how's it going? That's awesome, Ken. I see your comments. Hi, Situ family, Lazy Boy Bobby, Ring Dingy, Stacy M. Um, Stacy wants to know if there's anything in in Orlando to do. I mean, to in Universal to do. Oh gosh, Ride ET. We rode that like ten times, literally. Um, I know that's not much of information. Um, if you can get the both park passes, unless you don't ride roller coasters, if you don't ride roller coasters, probably not. But definitely get try to get that if you can afford it. It is high. It is a really pricey to get both parks though. Um, but I enjoyed ET. Mm-hmm. Brought back a lot of memories. That was a fun ride. I actually got yeah. to go on it. We went on like two or three times. We went on a bunch of times. Yeah, we kept I riding it that. every time. Oh yeah. It's by the way, ride. you cannot use the name ET. I ask you for your name. <laughs> And so we kept going through, and I was saying Elliot and ET. And he the guy's said, like, "You can't use that." He says, "You can't." The yeah. ride. He says, <laughs> "ET does not say his own name. Just so that's what he told us. Mm-hmm. You can't use ET." He gave me that look. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. We had fun doing it. Yeah, y'all should go to Disney at Christmas. Uh yeah. I mean, that would be hey, the, the ultimate time to go. Celeste, Pixie Dust Traveler, Hi Joe Prince. Carrie. Um, from Oneida, Tennessee. Hello, Ed. How you doing? You're up on top of the mountain there in Oneida, right? Yeah, the, usually the Oneida marching band a lot of times comes to the Gatlinburg Christmas Parade and stuff. You know, they're usually got a really good marching band there. Long time, no chat. Hey, lazy boy Bobby, how you doing? Great to see ya. Oh, Rob Ogletree. Hey, Rob. How you Thank doing? Thank you so much. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So next Sunday is very special. Yes. Yeah, so next Sunday, we don't... I don't think that we are going to... Um, I don't think that we are going to go live. Hi, so. happy birthday, Rachel. Uh, Rob says, love you all. Well, thank you so much, Rob. We really appreciate you. Thank you. They're saying, sorry, Lisa, you're my prayers. I guess I didn't see it. We didn't see what's going on with Lisa. Oh, right here. I see it right now. Lisa, my father, uh, my father passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Retired high school math teacher. Oh, wow. And vice principal. Vice principal. We'll definitely keep you in your family and yes, your prayers. Definitely. I that would be the toughest job in the world would be like a high school principal or a vice or assistant principal, probably assistant principal at that too, because um because you get all you get to see it all, right? Everything. Mm-hmm. Um sorry to hear that. Hey Missy, how are you doing? Happy Palm Sunday, yes. Uh oh, Teresa. You get you went to Santa Monica Pier last Sunday. Did you have a girl? Oh, Santa Monica Pier is a, a special place in my heart. I consider it like the end of America, even though it's not the end of America, but to me it is. It's like the first, like you know, uh, first time I ever saw the Pacific Ocean, things like that. And uh, it's always a place I go whenever I'm in California. It's like I don't feel. It's like a place I have to visit in order to say I've been. I, hopefully, you made it to like Hollywood and saw the sign, and got to at least walk. You know, you, you could do L.A. in like a day. I mean, if you're just going and kind of just you know getting a little 
taste of everything you can kind of do in a day. Uh, what is California? Hey, like? Ken. California is uh, yes. what a dozen times now, probably half a dozen. I've been there like I think a dozen me, times, at least a half a dozen. Yeah, like yeah. a half dozen times for you. We stayed a few days. Like the last time we were in Route 66, mm -hmm. when we got for Route 66, we stayed like a few days in and um we stayed in Monica Pier or, or Santa Monica Pier. We stayed right there. We stayed right there at the uh I think it was a Wyndham right there. And then we went out and stayed in the teepees uh out there in um for like three or four nights, remember? It was a lot of fun. I've been wanting to do all the talk about, you know, the Gemini giant and, and just a lot of folks have been reaching out. Uh, our route 66 videos kind of caught traction, a little bit of fire. Uh, when the Gemini giant story was going on, a lot of folks were referring never got to see the redwoods to our videos. Yeah. That's something we got to do in general. Um, but that's part of the United States. We haven't visited yet. So we'll get there soon. Hopefully. I know you want to. You want to go yeah. to Yosemite and, you know, all that. Um, Hi, Lisa. Hi, Teresa. Retreat the Nation says, we really enjoy watching you all because you are you were born and raised in Michigan. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. We do got our cards here. We can get them in the mail. They yes. Say. Go ahead and open them. We, we ran into a couple this weekend that have just moved here <laughs> from Michigan. Oh, it's cute. Mickey Mouse on oh, the wow. And they are going to be starting a YouTube channel up. And I said, well, just get with me. You know, we'll talk. Uh, if they need anything, you know, like, I don't know, any advice. But uh, they moved here from Michigan and they're like, yeah, we're going to start a YouTube channel and just for funsies, you know. I said, that's the best uh -oh. way to do it. You know, if you start a YouTube channel for anything else, you're just, you know, yeah, you just, you know, start for funsies. And then if it grows into something, you know, it's all great, right? And uh, they're a nice couple. Okay. They had, um, oh, stickers yeah, stickers. <laughs> okay. So we're going to open some mail, guys. So if you guys can, please give us a second in the chat. because We're not really going to look at the chat a whole lot. So if you got something you want to ask us, you're going to want to hold off because the chances are we're probably not going to see it. Um, and we're going to go open some mail real quick. We only got about five or six um, things to open. But anyways, this first That's one. That's the card right there, Will. Okay. I'm just going to the um, stickers. Uh, you're you're blessed, it says. I like the card. This very, is from very nice. Jenna. From Jenna. Uh, Will and Dawn, thank you for working hard to make great vlogs. Uh, you two are you two always um, uh, relate to joy and kindness. Just wanted to let y'all you guys know that I am grateful, Jenna. Thank you so much, Jenna. Thank we you are so great, much, Jenna. And yet again, you guys are all great. We're all grateful for you. And, um, you know, yet again, we were, we were just talking about this. We talk about you guys all the time. And I said, you know, we, we are very thankful to have you all. We have such a great community here. We want to keep it that way. We don't want, you know, you know, craziness and, and, and people being harassed and stuff like that. So we were talking about how, just how great of a community we have. And I want to say thank you all for, for making that, um, uh, Teresa yeah. says, Ament, how are you doing? How are we it's doing? We're doing, doing great. Right. We're doing great. Gosh, we got some good things. I, I want to kind of, I would love I to, want some Hermes. I would love to tell you all like some of the plans we got coming up because I think it's, it's pretty, I like it. I get excited. You guys all know that. And, uh, I get super, super excited, but we got some really great things coming up, uh, in the future. And I'm, we're just, it would be great to talk about it, but uns here. Brother Jim. Hey, Jim Forbes. How are you all doing? Hi, Jim. But thank you so much for all the great stickers. Haunts and histories. Harmonies. Okay. You're going a little bit too fast. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. This is really cool. It's out of St. Pat Patrick's Day card because it said return to sunder. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Oh wow! I don't. Yeah, we mail's been a little bit weird. Uh, I got some other like weird, weird mail things. Uh, just a quick note to honor fellow friendship. This was from Natalie. 
This is from Natalie from New Orleans. Being your friend is a ch cherished honor. Very, very cool. That is awesome. And I'm, this is a special card. So this is from Saint. Uh, I, I want to say that. So Saint Labry. Labry, I, I'm really bad with Native American names. Indian school. And uh, that is really cool. Scan with your smartphone or device and meet the Indian children. You see that? I don't know if you guys hold your phone up there. See if I can get this. Happy birthday, Christy. You can read about the Indian children. That is really cool. Happy birthday, Christy. <laughs> um, happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Natalie. And this is from our good friend, One Is Ringy Dingy. From Delaware. One Ringy Dingy. Hi, Ron and Liz. Hi, Ron. Hey, Ron and Gail. Um, wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Of course, we got to see them. Uh, That's really he just cool. got back from Disney and had a blast. Oh, up oh, there's glitter, Dawn. Oh, there's little wow. leprechaun glitters. <laughs> I thought he was taped. A little, little leprechaun glitters. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, um, this is us. Uh, may the luck always find you. Laughter. May, may luck always find you. Laughter always cheer you. And love always embrace you. Sincerely, Eddie. Eddie Stedman and One Ringy Dingy. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, Slowpoke RV Travels. Hello, hello. You're going to be good view of Eclipse in Clinton, Arkansas. I would love to go to Arkansas because if I was in Arkansas, chances are I'd be going to Branson. No, we opened that one the other day. <laughs> after after the, the thing. That's okay. from Rhonda but the other day, but if you want to show it. Okay, so we opened, we opened this the other day for uh, Rhonda, but we're going to share just a card with you again. Because it wasn't like a lot, you know. I just wanted to reshare it, seeing that we're open the cards. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Spring! Thank you yet again, Rhonda. First, it's got Snoopy. Do, 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 do. Very nice card. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Thank you, all the family out there. Hello from Tom and Jamie. Hello, Jamie. How you doing, Tom? So yeah, you guys all know the theme song that Tom wrote. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be making a music video to kind of go along with it, but I gotta go out and shoot some um, some video and 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 4K and and stuff at uh, at high rates of speed and things like that. And so hopefully one day we'll we will release that. And um, and also by then I think we'll, we're gonna meet up with Tom and Jamie hi, before that. Hi Kevin, I see your comment. And we could talk hi, a little Colleen. bit about. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Uh, I do like Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim. A little bit more than I should. But. Oh, well. But yeah, it was a really great. And we we're I'm working on something with that song. I know a lot of folks been asking us, hey, can you put that song like in a video? And I go, yeah, I will. I'm actually working on it. And then, um, of course, I'm going to show, you know, um, Tom, this, you know, what we got put together and stuff. It'd be really cool. It's not going to be most, the video won't be necessarily, there might be a few clips of us in there, but it will be mostly just the Smoky Mountains and, of course, the, the smoke rolling off them and just kind of really cool collage of things, you know, uh, in the area. A lot of like nature and, and just really good stuff, um, Tennessee um, and things like that. So, yeah, something we got going on in the future, but it's great to see you guys. Kevin says, "My Don, my wife Kelly loves your hair." I see that. Thank you so much. Oh, did you read that? Yeah. Uh, a special wish for a special you. Pretty, pretty cool little bunny. You see the little bunny in the cart. Oh wow! Wondering anything? You don't have. Okay, this is this is the bars uh, bars family. Thank you so much, Cammy and Jean and April. Uh, 
I, I got you. I sent you off a card. Um, hopefully you guys got it. I don't know if you guys got it. Let me know if you, you're in here or if you come in. This is an anniversary card. No, 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 no. But I, we sent the Bars family oh. a card. Yeah. The other day, I was just wondering if they got it. But thank you all so much. Happy Easter. You think you have to do that? Um, Where did the? <laughs> thank you guys so much. Are you gonna watch the total eclipse? I don't know. I don't you gotta have like a, a telescope or something? Um no, you gotta have a filter. You gotta have oh, a filter on your eyes. Your glasses, well no, yeah. there's a filter you can get for the camera. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that one's a little uh, bit ah, you're busy. pushing me. You're pushing me. Hugs from Molly. Hi Janet. <laughs> Hi Timothy Farmer. Dawn gets excited. She likes hearing, she likes seeing all the cards and right. Yeah. And she gets a little excited. I tell her, slow down a little, slow down a little. <laughs> oh wow, cool. Love is patient. Love is kind. It um, I can't even read it. <laughs> it does it does not envy, it, it does not boast. Does not boast it does so not self-seeking. Prude. Yeah. It's not proud. <laughs> I'm I'm going to get it's new glasses. It's not rude, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered. It keeps me um Here, I'll let you read it. I am working on new keeps glasses. my record of wrongs. Love does not delight in the veal, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always preserves. Um, May each day of your life together be blessed with contentment, oh. happiness, and most of all, love. The Bars family. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Oh, Bars family again. Thank you. Thank you so much for the anniversary card. Oh, you got our card. You the card you guys sent us. Smoky Mountain Man said, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yes. The local Walmart sold out of the viewing glasses for the Eclipse. Oh, boy. You can you can get them online. You probably get on it now, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they got it. I know the, the one party store up here was selling them there for a while. I don't know if they still have them or not. Oh, that one's cute. I'm hoping to see you all, a Smoky Mountain Man, in the future. It looks like one of those stuffed animal and plushy things. Again. Yeah, they're going back to Branson this summer. How many more? Well, Dawn's birthday will. Yes. Um, that's next month. Dawn's birthday is next month. Yes. Wow, that's coming up quick. Yeah. Because, you know, Sunday will be like April 1st, you know what I'm saying? Or It is. Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe so. Let me April look. Fool's Day, I think. <laughs> no, no, it's like the day. Here, let me look. Let me look. I'm I think look. it's next week. Yeah, it's like no, it's uh, the first I is think Monday. Easter Sunday's on, on the thirty yeah, first. Is on the thirty first. Yes. Yeah. So thirty first, and then April Fools <laughs> happens Monday, um, and Ooh. yeah, we're talking like. I see your comment. Um, wow, Mountain man. Now your your name your 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 name almost was April May. Was your name May? Or she was they were talking about making My mom's gonna call me April May, but I was born on the last day of April and it would have been yeah. the month of May. So she called me Dawn Marie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um Erica are you know, yet again, thank you. Erica is such a great and she's a great artist. And I was actually going through some cards the other day. And kind of organizing things a little bit. Um, and I came across, you know, of course, a little section we got with Erica. And she has made us another mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful card. It looks and like now, the most plushy stuffed animals. And I know you all enjoy looking at them, too. And, um, of course, Erica here, she's she always says a good word. very creative. It's Mickey Mouse. Easter, right? It's got hidden Mickey for the balloons. It says love, love, Will and Dawn 2024. It's in an egg house. Kind of like not the ego, not the ego house. This is the egg house. Um pretty, pretty cool. Erica, you're you're you're, you're so wonderful. Uh to Will and Dawn. Have a blessed Easter, Erica. And um, thank you so much for um making these beautiful, beautiful cards. Uh, we really appreciate them, and they're they're so wonderful. And I noticed, like over time, 
you your art gets even better and better and uh, we appreciate oh, it oh i see your comment mary my, dawn my name is mary marie my daughter's middle name is amanda dawn i thought dawn was such a beautiful name oh that's nice i like your guys's names um will it inspire me to buy a new dad shirt thanks guys <laughs> I know a lot of folks ask us, uh, like, where do I get like my shirts and stuff? And I, I get them at Columbia, nothing special mm -hmm. um, and stuff. So, and uh, so, I know a lot of folks uh, go there. So, I, I like them. It's kind of a cool. Uh, it's a cool summer. Of course, if you know you you live here in the south or you live here, you know it's always it's warm. It's warm during the summers down here in the south, and you gotta have moisture wicking, you know, shirts to. That or you'll just be drenched all the time, right? It just yeah. gets hot, so you got to have That's, light. I like this kind of material. It's like yeah. a lightweight. Cause they don't have Colombians like that in yeah. my size. So you know that's and I Columbian. like them. They're really great. But guys, thank you all so much for for the great cards. The, we enjoy um, reading them all and and looking at them. And you guys, will wear will be a great new clothing line. <laughs> interesting story but for another time about there is some it's kind of a weird thing i find it weird but there is somebody out there who um wants to make like uh i don't know it's kind of a weird thing but maybe in the future i don't know i think you find it kind of weird but anyways thank you all so much for uh the wonderful cards and um yeah again we just love connecting with you all and um can you show me the yes. pin map sometime hey let's be over here um it's heavy it's heavy it's got a lot of pins on there i might be able to show you in a little bit here it's getting heavy now i gotta actually redo it because there's just so many pins like we're not even it's gonna be heavy when we get there i need to get like a so what i really need to do there's a lot of things i need to do first i need two boards this one here is homemade it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a box it's a cardboard box and you just but i need to get like an actual pin board mm -hmm. um and then i need to get one for the world so I need to get one for the United States, right? That's a in Canada. Map. <laughs> but I also need to get another one now that has like the world. You know what I mean? Like like the rest of the world, <laughs> not just the United States, like Europe and, and what have you. So for I, I we do have some European yeah. European pins, you know, from our travels. Mm. But uh, I want to make a little bit better of a pin board for the future because it's gonna yet again it's gonna get super heavy. Um, okay. But thank you all so much. Get back to the chat. Uh, yeah, I need a big map. Well, I don't need one big. I a need... big map or a big map? <laughs> well, that too, right? <laughs> Sound like a big map. So said. I, I don't want too big of one because then I need a big one for more pins, right? But I don't want too big to where I can't store them in the house. It's hard for me. I, I keep this one up here on the side of the wall because where else am I going to put it? Um, You know, we even talked about... Uh, it's not going to happen, but putting put them like up here, like taking all the, the, the this down and putting you know world map up there. But we decided against that. It was both. It was it was vetoed. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm hoping I don't. Okay, guys. I'm here. Um, you need I two maps. I need, yeah, I need one for like you know the the European Asian continent. Um, and then I need one for like, you know, the United States and then, um, as for South, you know, as for like uh, South America and in Africa, I probably need one for that, but not at the moment. I don't have any plans to go there yet. I don't know. That would be a tough one. I'm going to visit Orlando in July. I would recommend Disney or Universal. I would say Disney, but it depends on what your budget is. But I, I don't know how much the tickets for Universal are now. I personally like Universal um, just because of the movie references and stuff. Um, you know, I relate to a lot of it as being older. Um, yet again, you know, Disney is a great place, uh, you know, but, you know, the Magic Kingdom... I think I, I think I kind of grew out of the Magic Kingdom a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I it's fun to visit. Like we we've yeah. only I've been there six times my whole life, <laughs> so going once every two or three years is okay with me. Or, or I think I've been there three times. 
Um, but for Universal, uh, that's a place that I, you know, I could relate to. I could probably go there more often. I don't know if that makes sense to you all. There's nothing wrong. I just Disney is, um, you know, it's, it's fun. But I don't want to like. It's kind of like having a Bucky. Okay, so we were Bucky. Ow. Okay, are you okay? <laughs> I don't know. It's great to myself. We were Bucky. This is what I mean by it. We were Bucky crazy. You remember that Bucky this, Bucky that. We were going to Bucky's. We were going to openings and Bucky's everywhere. And then we got a Bucky's in our backyard. Literally got a Bucky's in our backyard. And guess what? We don't, we don't very rarely we ever go <laughs> because it's so close. We know it's there. It, it becomes like, I mean, we'll still go. I still go up there. We go up there periodically, but mm -hmm. um, it's not the same. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same having a Bucky's. Like, Bucky's to me was more of the adventure going there, getting there. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, what, and then everything else in between. Now, Bucky's is like, yeah. Bucky's is there. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not disking it or nothing. It's great for people that are traveling uh, to the area and stuff. Um, and I know a lot of other folks were warning us about that. Like, hey, you know, some folks live down in like near Warner Robin. They were saying, yeah, Bucky's has been in my backyard. Um, and that's that's all there is to it. So, uh, but anyways. So, yeah, for us, like Disney once every few years is, um, is okay for us. Um, so what's going on, Dom? Disney is a million times better when you stay on property. Is there any it, Disney hacks? Does anybody know of any Disney hacks? Like, um, I guess the big question is, like, is there a certain time of year you can go? And um, in the hotels or, you know, the on resort hotels are like at, at a decent price. Um, you know, I know like someone says like there's a few times during the year Disney's the best. You know, there's not as many people there. The hotel, they're on 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 resorts. The resorts are good. Some folks and my cousin, he's a, DV, a DVC um, member. And so he pays into that you know, and he goes down uh, once or twice a year. I don't know what his frequency is, but he goes down quite often. Um, but he just pays into that, and he says that that's a good a good way uh, to do that. Uh, dolly hacks. Do they have uh, a good... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, so for dolly hacks or dollywood hacks, um, if you have, like, say, a season pass to, like, Ripley's or that, you can usually get like a few dollars off the season passes or no, you can get a few dollars off their daily pass. Um, but really all in all, there's not a lot of discounts there. I know if you're like a, a military, um, you get a discount for that. There's a few discounts there for that AARP, things like that. There are discounts for that, but that's really all you're looking at. Not much, three to $5. Okay. Now, if you are a Tennessee, if you are a severe County resident during, um, Severe County days, you can get season passes at a at about ninety ninety five dollar discount. So, like us living in Severe County during the Severe County, um, you know, being local, um, you can go down there in Severe County days. Uh, you make a five dollar donation, you get into the park, and then you can put that that day ticket towards a season pass of your choice. So that is a hack, but that doesn't. You know, a lot of folks won't talk about that because it doesn't. You know, it's only for like you know folks uh, local to the area. There is a lot of discounts for um, local. There's a lot of local discounts for all of the different uh, attractions in the area, and some of them are good. Some of them are okay. Um, you know, but that's um, that's over there. So. Uh, 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 uh. If you have time, visit Lancaster Canoba. Yes, I want to do that. Gumstan Baptist Church is a good choice for um, firework. For fireworks, are you talking about? I don't know. I, I maybe have come into the conversation a little bit. Echo Travel says 
Can you see my, uh, can you see this? Yes, I can yeah. see it. Uh, let's see, Roy Maria says, Rob, are you, have you, been, have you gone to Dollywood? Okay. Speaking of Dollywood, is, is the preferred parking worth it? Um, that it depends. It depends. Um, if, if the park is, family. if the park is extremely busy, uh, preferred parking, uh, sometimes even if you can get it, sometimes it's, I mean, the park is busy. You can't even get preferred parking. Um, but yes, if the park is real busy, I think it's worth it. There is an uphill walk and it's kind of steep mm -hmm. to the parking lot to get to um, the preferred parking. Me personally, if the park is not extremely busy, just take the tram in, you know. Um, but really for us, we just like, we just, I like taking the tram in. So I guess that makes sense, right? What? <laughs> I can pull it forward. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Emmy says, I ordered a electric 3.0 e-bike yesterday. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. I think you'll enjoy it. A lot of fun. Do you have any favorite videos that you made? I got a lot of them. They're like, <laughs> they're like children. Which one? <laughs> There's a lot of great it's ones. Hard to pick and choose from. Yeah. I like, you know, I like my Route 66. The Route 66 was a lot, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I, I off, so I guess in other words, what videos do I go back and watch out of all the videos we make um, or have made? Um, I get myself going back to our England videos every now and then and watching some of that. Um, I watch Route 66 videos. Um, one of my favorite, one of my one, once in a lifetime videos at least the one I enjoyed was when I uh, flew the Yan the Yankee lady um, over Pigeon Forge. Um, that was that was a lot of fun too. I'm trying to think what else we've done. Um, there's some hiking videos I go back and watch. Um, oh gosh, what other ones did we do? Our cruise videos. I watched our cruise videos cruise back. Videos. I enjoy watching those. Um, what else? There's a lot of them. Um, periodically, but those are the ones I, I like watch the most, I guess. Will and Don, are you going to be doing anything Easter weekend? <coughs> so we are going to be spending time with uh, my family, with our family, uh, Easter Sunday. So that's pretty much the main thing that we're going to be doing. Our favorite video is when Dawn cut your hair. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool. That's an oldie classic. You know that? If I would have known like that video was going to... It was a live stream at the, on top of that. It wasn't even an edited... You know what I mean? It was just a live stream. Um, Ken Green says, We are concerned when, that when the Buckies opens in Hubbard Heights, Ohio, it won't be a destination, but will be in our backyard. Yeah, exactly. That's what we said, too. I mean, well, now we have a Bucky's here. Yeah, it, the special, you know, there was a, a pat, you know, about traveling to it, and you know, and, and a buzz about it when you come across. Now when we're traveling. I would say we've stopped at more Bucky's traveling than we stopped in our own Bucky's in our backyard. I guess that's the reality of it. Gas at Bucky's is super cheap. Our Walmart here. Don't. Our, oh. Okay. Our Walmart here isn't um, is pretty cheap too, pretty close to it.
Dollywood is trying to be Disney. I don't know if that Dollywood's trying to be Disney. I, I think a lot of theme parks look at Disney and see what they're doing. Hi, Gabby Ganny. But I wouldn't say that they're trying to be them. Hi, Steven Sunrock. Hi, Lloyd. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jeremy. You keep talking about your haircut I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sean. What are we all doing for dinner? We already had dinner earlier. So maybe I'll share a little um, photo on. Um, I took a photo of our dinner. So I can take a little picture of it. I have a picture of it. I'll share it with you guys on Facebook. Uh, any video that you've made, Don, that you, you really enjoyed? On my own channel? Well, I mean, just in, in the, the, in all the ventures that we've been on. I already know what the answer is, but on all the adventures you've been on, what what YouTube what videos have we made that you enjoy the most? All of them. Well, that's the thing. We, but like like let's just say you, or how about like ones you can do again? Like if you were going to redo a video, which video would you redo again? Because you had so much fun doing it. MSC cruise. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a cruise. cruise news. <laughs> Are you going camping soon? Uh, there should be some. There be some camping. I like. Coming up. I like the MST. I like the food. I like the theater. I like the um the shows at the theater. I like the glass bridge at Crystal Staircase, and I love their balcony room. Hello from New Orleans, Carol. <laughs> Yeah, it was nice meeting you too, Joe, on Pass Holder's Day. Yes. Hi, Jim Mad Cat. Um love your logo. Who did it? Um, the logo, our Yankee and South logo, uh part me and a part friend. So uh um I'm I, I'm the one to like put it all together, but I had a friend who sketched us out. And then I put it together. That's what happened. Pretty good. I like our logo. Um, cheap gas. <laughs> yes, gas is going up. I don't know if you guys know. How's the gas in your all your neck of the woods? Uh, gas has creeped up a little bit here. Of course, I mean, with it getting close to summer, right? It's going to start creeping up on us, but... Um, I went to go fill the tank yesterday, was it? Yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. We're like, it seemed like I could fill the tank. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. It seems like I put about just under around 30 bucks. Now it seems like I'm putting close to 40 in it. So, um, yeah, gas is definitely going up in price, isn't it? And, um, yeah. Everybody's quiet. <laughs> Hope to hear your song again. Um, three fifty-five here in Virginia for gas. Three fifty-five. Wow. Yeah, gas here is. Is it just under three? Are we gonna go to the Rod Run show? Yes. I mean, I, I'm planning for it. No guarantees, but I am planning for it. That will be coming up here soon, guys. That'll be the next big thing that happens uh, in the area after spring break. Will be rod runs. Oh, rod run Carol, you're a, a Snoopy and Charlie Brown collector, and you have a lot of, of what I have already in the background. Oh, wow. and you, you watch the Easter Beagle? It's a tradition. They have Yeah, she, she, she watched them. Um, oh, I watched it the other day. She did. She um she didn't know how to boil the eggs. She made egg soup. She put them in the waffle toaster. She put them in the toaster toaster, and she fried them. Yeah, Marcy. Robert Robert Brown says preferred parking allows you to park at the gate, and then you just one person can walk down. Yeah, that's yeah. Preferred parking is is really great, especially on a busy day. Um, I don't think it's 
Like it sounds fun, Mary. I wouldn't pay that extra money if it's not going to be a busy day. Um, but then again, a lot of folks coming here, they don't know. I mean, I can tell by the parking lot the way it looks like in the mornings uh, when we go. I can kind of I can kind of sense if it's going to be a busy day or not. Like the other day, we it was a Friday. This Friday, we went by Dollywood, and they weren't even up the other side of the mount or the other side of the hill there. And I go, oh my gosh! I go that there is nobody at Hi, Dollywood computers. for a Friday. So I I should do that. We should have an Easter egg hunt. The one lady said she does it for her um. Where'd it go? I am having an egg hunt with my adult children and adult grandkids, and we did it for the first time last year. It was hoot. Does anyone else do that? Do, do you? I'm thinking about putting something together. Do you remember us. years ago there was those YouTubers and they filled up Easter eggs with like hundred dollar bills, five five dollar yeah, bills, one dollar bills. That and was then, fun. Then they drove around in the back of a pickup, throwing eggs at people, you know, like throwing plastic yeah. eggs with money in them. I think they told everybody on social media that they're going to be driving around town throwing eggs at people. Well, all of a sudden there was like this great big, huge, like cars flying everywhere. <laughs> it, I think it turned out to be a pretty dangerous yeah. situation, but he was going to, I think they were going to do like over $10,000 worth of like just throwing money, like money around. Um, and then they got in a lot of trouble for that because I guess there's people. California. Yeah. That was, I think it was down in California. They were doing that. That was, um, what's my call it? I don't remember. Uh, I just remember it years ago. And there was like a lot of. Um, Paul? Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, or something. It was somebody. But I just always. And I think he dressed up as Easter Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> but it was very dangerous. Like people got hurt. Like people, I think some people, some people did get hurt. <laughs> uh, don't, yeah, don't go around throwing like Easter eggs out of cars and stuff, right? Um, If I hide some eggs around the house, I probably forget where I hit them at. <laughs> we find them months later. When is the new intro coming out? Uh, I'm not really developing a new intro at the moment, Geo. <sighs> but I do have like a music video of the music that we, and I'm probably referring to the music um, for a video. Um, but eventually, I am going to do that. Uh, Will and Don, hope you're having a great time. MSC, yeah, the MSC cruise we took was really, was really yeah. nice. Ship. It was a nice ship. It was a nice ship. I forget too about where I put the eggs at. Yeah, I'm still thinking about putting a little something for us together. Go to the Volkswagen car show in May. We did it one year. It was really fun. That was years ago, though. I don't recall making a video, though. I think we just kind of walked around it ourselves. Dawn likes Volkswagens. She likes the Volkswagen thing, don't you? Yep. She you don't make those anymore. No, no, that made no sense. Uh, what am I going to make for Easter Sunday? I don't know. 60s or 70s? Yeah, whatever sounds good, I guess, or we'll be at your mom's. Well, so house. we're gonna have we're gonna have, have uh, scalp potatoes, right? Is that what she's potatoes, Is yes. that next week? Yes, okay. next Sunday. Is it ham? Ham, scalp potatoes, ham, scalp potatoes uh, probably some green beans. Um, it's pretty simple. We don't they don't really go out um, like you know crazy with food. You know, um, it's just mostly you know ham, a potato dish, some greens. And um, pretty much family getting together uh, after church. So, hey, from Tupelo. Hello, Dixie. How you doing? <laughs> Pale sudden service. Pale. So I was talking to I don't I don't know who he was. He was he was actually the manager or somebody. Um, but we started talking. And he was saying that Pales has they they are going to start expanding outwards. They've already been expanding for a while, but he says that they're going to be uh, expanding into Knoxville next. You're going to start seeing them pop up in Knoxville. They already have plans, or they already have you know that that's going to happen. 
And then he said Sevierville, Sevier County. Mm -hmm. He says there, there, there is pails that they're going to be putting in Sevier County. So, yeah, it's coming. And, and they should come, you know, because it's really good. It's a really good burger. Right? Uh, I, if you never had one before, you need to get a chance to try one. I think a lot of folks who know what pails is all by, by, about will tell you um, that it, they're, they're, it's probably one of the best burgers. You know, it's a region. It's a real nice regional burger. You know, every part of the country has got a, a, a little chain. Like up in Michigan, they have a thing called Halo Burger. Uh, it's a really good burger also. You know, here in East Tennessee, uh, we have, you know, pals. Then you have, like, little chains that got a little bit bigger recently, you know, kind of like with In-N-Out Burger and Whataburger. Of course, they're getting bigger and bigger. They're starting to become a big chain now. But they technically started out as a little regional chain. And um, and I've had In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out Burger is a good burger. I don't care for the In-N-Out fries, though. Um, I could do without. Um, but it's a good burger. Uh, Whataburger is a really good burger also. And their fries and all that's really good there. So I, I kind of will lean to say I like Whataburger um, what a, a little better than um, um, In-N-Out. But then some folks say that Whataburger has went down in quality over the last so many years. I don't know. And then you have Pales. And to me, Pales is, is the best small chain uh, burger, uh, not just because it's in East Tennessee, it's just because it is. It's a really good place. Um, and yeah, you guys remember Rallies, Rallies and Checkers? Like back in the day, Rallies and Checkers was really good. There used to be another place called Hot, Hot Now. Hot Now is another chain. I think they were up in Michigan. They were kind of a spun off version of, of like Rallies and that. And those were really good burgers. They still are in a sense. Um, but not, but they kind of lost their quality too. I think they kind of went the frozen, I don't know, things like that. But they were they were good burger, burgers too. The one we had the other day, yes, Pals Burger, was good. Pals, Pals yeah. is, and Dawn, she's like, where's the nearest Pals the other day? Because you like, it was good. <laughs> it was it was good. Well, the our near good too. Our nearest Pals is in uh, Jefferson City, Jeff City, Ooh. which is. About 45 minute drive from where we're at, uh, depending on traffic. Okay. Hi, planting gardens. Um, how are Five Guys? Five Guys burgers are good. They're expensive. Uh, they're good. Um, yeah. I mean, Five Guys burger is really good too. But I don't really put them in the same category as them. I mean, they're, they're like more of a, I guess you could. But that that's price, man. They you really, you know, their fries are good there too. In and out, they're but for the price and value and all that, uh, in and I mean um pals is definitely my my choice. Uh Carl's Jr. and Hardy's, they do have a a good burger. Um, you know, but then yet again, those chains, they it seems like hit and miss. Like you, you know, you like you go to one and you have a good burger and then you go down the road and the burger is not all that great. You know what I mean? So uh, the quality and, and service has a lot to do with what a burger got bought up by a Chicago invest, investment firm. Yeah. So is that what, cause I, I, a lot of folks, these are folks that are from Florida or Al, Alabama, you know, from the Gulf coast. And they'll say, you know, what a burger isn't the way it used to be. Now we have one in, in Tennessee now. And we stopped there the one day, um, but we didn't do it for the YouTube channel. We were on our way to, um, I think we're coming back or on our way to Branson. And we stopped and we split a burger, but I didn't film it. And um, and it was good. It was good. I I'd still don't say it's any better than um, Pals, but it was good. Mm -hmm. I do like those regional burger chains like Halo Burger, what a burger! Um, you know, they're there's something about them. You know what I mean? It seems like they're they take a little. You know, the still the management, the ownership is is still in there, and they're, they're still trying. They're working. It's not like they're working for stockholders or you know whatever. They're you know they're real business people, 
you know, a lot of times the owner is actually in there flipping the burgers themselves and stuff. And that's what I kind of like about those places. Um, so anyways, you need to get in and out. We fries. get it in and out in um, California or something. Get the in and out fries well done. I think if they use sunflower oil or something, and it just for some reason does not ring with me, maybe it's just my taste buds. Uh, just kind of like if you ever go to Cincinnati and you have you have the Cincinnati chili. Um, you know, if you're from like Detroit, let's just say you're gonna find the Cincinnati chili different, right? Where if you're from Cincinnati, I'll be right back. That's the best stuff on the planet, right? So it depends on where you go and what the um, you know what what the individual what the you know the region has too. Uh, burger look really good. I would say the burger tastes better at Pals than what it actually looked. Just to be serious with you all, it, it was a, it's really good. I don't know what they put on it. The bun, I think the bun being so, um, you know, just so, um, you know, soft and, and and has flavor. You know, just really good. Yes, uh, Rob, I was talking yet again. I was talking. I, I don't. The guy there at the original location, the manager, he seemed to know what, like, he seemed to be in connection with the, the folks there at the, and he told me no. He says, um, Pales will be coming to Knoxville very soon. Like, there's already plans drawn up for these, these ones. And he said shortly after Sevier County. I did ask him about... There's rumor, not rumor, technically they're, they were going to be building one in Newport. But I believe, he said that he believes the plans had fought, fell through or there's something not right with that. So that might not happen. But he did say that they're coming everywhere else. So that's good to say. I'm glad to see that. that uh, they won awards for their burgers too. Okay. I have an idea for a video series. I'm always open for, for ideas. Uh, do a Route 66 except for do a series in the A1A. You know, uh, Disney Ticket Holder? Yes. Um, I've been wanting to do a Dixie Highway. I got all these books on Dixie Highway um, and the Lincoln Highway, too. Yes, very, very much. Oh, gosh. Our church has uh, does a huge activity for children Sunday Easter. They hide over two thousand eggs. Oh wow, Carol, that that's crazy. That's cool though. I, I that's when I was a kid. I remember um, Easter. You know what I mean? The, you know, um, getting a little basket of some stuff, and it was fun. It makes it it makes it fun, especially when you're younger. J uh, Waffle House used to be really, really good. Um, I've had some experiences in in the few in in recent years that I didn't really care for for it. But at one time, my Waffle House was it was really gr good, like over the top good for me, anyways. Well, wondering you dingies here. I do have to try that, uh, Leanne. I do have to try that. Uh, Littons, Littons, and um, Knoxville. Need to write that down. Um, here's a pen. I got Paper. it. Right. Paper. Um, ah, with this flower. <laughs> here's paper. Um. Okay. I gotta write. I gotta remember my my brain to put that into my thing. There's a good – Frank Allen's is really good. Whoops. Frank Allen's is a great place to go, <coughs> especially, you know, the budget. <coughs> especially if you're on a budget, you know, like you're, you know, traveling the, the area and, you know, you just – you want a nice oh. little place to grab a, a quick lunch or something. It's, it's, it's a good place. Uh, Geo says the worst burger is five guys, nasty and expensive. That's what you should do for your channel, Mac uh, Geo. You should do something like, um, 
just let's just do like the worst burger joints that you know just be like the <coughs> like the opposite side of way all YouTube channels run and just say the worst the five worst burger places they were so bad I puked in my mouth. <laughs> and people like people will click on that. I guess if you're, I don't really. I'm not a clickbaiter. I don't. Uh, every now and then, I'll I'll come up with a a little, uh, you know, on a video. Every now, a couple times a year, I'll do a little video that's kind of maybe clickbaity. But I, I don't I don't believe in clickbaiting. Uh, that's where you just get people to click on your videos. But I, if you want to make your channel very successful, we've hit five guys before. Um, clickbaiting is is a technique. The problem is, is that a year down the road, you find out that you don't. Nobody watches you because they know that you clickbait, right? You know, they know that you're going to be. There's a couple YouTubers that are very talented. I I have followed over the years, and they got so clickbaity that I actually unsubscribe from them and don't watch them anymore. And they probably still make good content. It's just I couldn't I couldn't stand the, the clickbaitiness, you yeah. know. Like they'll say, um, "This time it's really bad," um, and it make it sound like he's the individual's going to lose their, you know, something going on. And you click on it, and it's something really, you know what I mean? Like, you know, his skittles fell out of his pocket. <laughs> you know, like, you know. And so after a while, you just get like, you just say, I ain't doing that no more. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And it does, it makes you unsubscribe and I don't even look back, you know, I'm sure he's still a great creator. I just think he wish she wouldn't do the clickbait. But unfortunately, sometimes if you're trying to grow a channel, especially if you're, you know, you got dreams of like, of like hitting millions of subscribers, you, you have to. I, I, so at least some people say that. Um, I, I always say, don't build an empty channel. Grow it, uh, you know, grow it right. You know what I mean, or whatever. You know, do you know, just be on it. You know, do do things, and don't um, don't do that stuff. You know. Hi, Cindy B. Uh, How you doing tonight? Hi, Elizabeth. Um. Who did clickbait? I, I'm not saying anybody did an individual clickbait. I'm just saying I don't. We don't do a lot. We don't do clickbaiting on this channel. I don't like clickbait something. So <coughs> yeah, it's not worth it. No, no, it's not. You know, uh, I know a lot of folks are like, "Hey, can I grow? How can I grow a YouTube channel real quick?" And there's lots of ways you can do it, but technically there isn't. Uh, slow. You know, slow grow, you know, steady growth is, is the way to do it, I guess. You know, everybody I've ever talked to that was, is successful on there have always said the same thing. You know, don't. Uh, okay. I've been eating pals for 25 years. And so, uh, uh, Lorienda, I, I don't say your name right. She, she's, been, she's been eating pails for 25 years and have never gotten any bad food. I always made to order fries, always hot. Yes, exactly. I, I'm really, I am really, you know, when I say I really, really like something, I really, really like something. Pails is one of those I, things. It was good. Heck, I might even invest in a pails. I might, maybe we should open the first pails in Sevier County, right? Just need like ten million dollars, <laughs> right? You know, it'd be expensive to open a business in, in Sevier County because the land alone is millions and millions of dollars just to get into a, a plot of land. Sometimes you don't even own the land. A lot of the land in Sevier County, especially in the tourist area, are leased. You can't even buy land. You got to buy a hundred year lease, and then at the end of your hundred years, you got to either renegotiate or move on right and so uh, it's very expensive i know businesses down there on the parkway that pay over ten thousand dollars a month over ten thousand dollars a month for rent and that is like very cheap rent if you can find it for that and it, it just it just goes up from there that's a lot of little trinkets and and little touristy things you got to sell and t-shirts and everything else you got to sell 
uh, even before you recover your costs from the products and even before you can take a dollar or two home after you pay, you know, uh, wages and the taxes and everything else. It's um, it's got to be tough down there. That's the reason why you see businesses in, in like Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, you know, and you know they change out quite often. Or you see a business come and go real quick. Uh, just too much, just too expensive. You know, just too expensive to operate. Ever had Culver's? Culver's is a good burger. It is a good burger. It's another one of those regional burgers that are now starting to come into the world of being a giant chain. Um, but they got their starts up in here with Wisconsin, is it? Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> and they've they're they're everywhere. You can get there's Knoxville. Knoxville's got one. I think I think I seen Culver's down in Orlando, didn't we? Yeah, they were everywhere. Actually, I don't even, I don't even consider them anymore a small little regional chain. They're 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 beyond that now. I would assume. You went to Thumbs Up in Croswell. All right. Lincoln Highway runs through Lancaster. It does. Hey Tony, five thousand. Hey Tony. Uh, I heard that the Cherokee tribe owns the land where Bucky's is. Yes, that is true. It's owned by the uh, Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, and all that land there, all that all that land there, the exit, the gateway exit four hundred seven was bought. Uh, from you know, bought, bought by the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, and um, yeah, so they have some kind of deal with them. Uh, I'm assuming it's a lease on land. They probably lease that section, that land that Bucky sits on for so many years, for so many dollars, or or whatever. I don't know what kind of deal they struck. Um, and yeah, that's probably the case there. Bucky's, I know some folks, they know that the native, uh, you know, Cherokee Nation or the Cherokee Eastern Band owns Cherokees. I mean, let's get that back. Eastern Band owns Bucky's. No, I think Bucky's is a sole ownership. It's owned by two guys. <laughs> and we've met, we've met uh, Mr. Oh. Um, anyways, but I'm assuming there's some kind of lease there. And then they're probably getting money through that lease somehow. So they're taking a cut of of what Bucky's brings in, but uh, but that's what's going on there. At least that's the way it was told to me. What Snowing in November. <laughs> I like the beef burgers better than the bison burgers. The bison burgers are too dry. Hi, 25,000. Sean from Orlando. Good place to get fried chicken. I know one place right off the bat, the the, the old mill mm-hmm. restaurant, has got some crazy mad um, fried chicken. Uh, Applewood Grill's got good fried chicken, but I think I like the one at the old mill better. Uh, Mama's Farmhouse, uh, it's a it's a family style buffet that's got some. Oh. If you like all you can eat chicken. Kimmy Bar's it's got her um, card and stamps. Oh wow, that's Thank awesome. You. We appreciate you. We, we like your cards you sent us. We really appreciate that. Uh, ate at Jack in the Box. Um, we stopped off at a Jack, Jack in the Box not too long ago. It's just because we haven't had one in a very long time. Uh, we actually ran into some so, some friends of the channel there, some subscribers, and um, I wasn't very impressed with Jack in the Box. I would say that Jack in the Box had... At least the ones on the East Coast, uh, Jack in the Boxes, um, I didn't really care for, did you? I know you didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bet you they had better days. It seems, have you guys noticed that? Before, we, I'm, we're going to start winding down the live stream here, but have you guys noticed that a lot of your favorite places that you used to go to, uh, places that you loved, the quality and the service has like went, went, went just horrible. I mean, like you won't even step foot in there. And I've been getting a lot of that with some places that we we 
we will go to, you know. <laughs> I just like eating canes. Canes, um, chicken, chicken tenders are good. We don't have any like really in this, or at least near our house, anyways. Um, let's see here. Yeah, raising canes is is a really good chicken tender. There's another chicken tender place that we're going to do a review. I don't want to really want to get into it right now on what place it is, but we. We, we, we've tried it before, and I want to do a review on it coming up here in the future. Have they changed the, 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 the name to the Clingman's Dome back? I have not heard Sandy B. Hi, Sandy B. How are you doing? I have not heard if, they, if they're going to do that. I don't know. Has anybody ever heard that they're going to change... Um, the Clayman's Dome to its Native American name, which I don't even know even how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Who? Clayman's Dome. They're, oh. they're, gonna, they're talking about changing the name of, oh. of it. Yes. I think they should just leave it the way it is. Change sometimes could be bad. Uh, everybody Maybe knows it's Clayman's Dome. Tacoma, Clemens. Washington. Music was loud. And there were warning signs about loitering. Oh, I see your comment, 25,000. From Homestead, Florida. I see that. I seen that Sean from Orlando. Yeah, White Castle open, then Portillo's. We, we were there uh, in Orlando. I saw that. <coughs> um, Raising Canes is good. Jack in the Box. I was disappointed at the last place I visited um, in South Carolina. Was it right? Mm -hmm. I think it was South Carolina. Might have been North Carolina. Have a good night, JQ. I was disappointed. That's all. Thank you, JQ. Thanks for stopping by the Zachby's. I've been to Zachby's once, and um, and it was okay, but it wasn't enough to ever really get me to go back. Maybe we should try that again. I don't know. What is it? Zachby's. Oh. I just remember I getting, didn't care for it. I remember getting chicken tenders, and they were once. like that big, like that long. <laughs> like that big around, it was like, what? What's this? You know. Been to Clemens Dome many a times. Yeah, Clemens Dome's awesome. It's the toughest little half mile in the Smokies. Please not change the name of Clemens Dome. We had Del Taco. In I don't make those decisions, right? <laughs> we did try Del Taco in in um, in Orlando. I didn't really care for it. Did you? Del Taco? Yeah. If I had to pick between Del Taco or Taco Bell, I'd just take the Taco Bell. I like my Taco Bell. Taco Bell um, shell Taco Supremes. Yeah, she likes Taco Bell. Um, That's now, all my choices. I did have Del Taco up in Michigan a long time or a while back, and it was really good. But the one in Orlando, I didn't really, I, maybe it's just an off day, you know? Yeah, raising canes, right? Uh, Donner, people say people are starting to say goodnight. That's what Smoky Mountain. I could tell Dawn. Dawn got up early this morning. I could tell that Dawn's running on on empty, right? Yeah, she's running on empty tonight. I can tell she's kind of over here. Like, um, in fact, people we're starting to say goodnight. We were talking about this. Like, when is the best time to do go live? Uh, usually in the evening when it for you all. Well, we had a busy morning this morning. We're getting yeah. things done and cleaning our house up and and but Dawn is at her peak in 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 the mornings or afternoon sometimes. So <laughs> guess what I did? I washed the bedding up today. <laughs> she did. Yash Ash yeah, I, 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 I'll try that again. Ashines, Ashines. Yes, I know that's really good. It's in um, Knoxville. I said that wrong. I know I don't uh, um Yassines. Mm -hmm. I guess they say yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes. I'm gonna say it wrong. Um, yes, that is really good. The Fawful House there in Knoxville. 
Uh, do you have a burger? Hi, Kimmy Burrs. Do you have a burger chef in Michigan? They used to before I was born, Aaron. Uh, they Burger Chefs were big there. But didn't Burger Chef, wasn't the story behind Burger Chef that weren't they one of the um, chains that where people got sick and people then stopped going stopped going to them and it kind of brought the whole the whole corporation down? Wasn't there like a, a bunch of cases or people like, um, you know, whatever? Um, yeah, it'll be Easter Sunday next week. Easter Sunday. We're talking about all this food. <laughs> and then we had dinner. Yeah, we had dinner earlier. Uh, Hardy's bought him out. Hardy's bought out Christmas Burger Chef. Christmas Eve is nine months away. No, I don't even want to know. <laughs> okay. So Burger Chef was bought out by Hardy's. But, or was it Jack in the Box? Which chain, what chain was it that had a, a big thing? And I know... It really hurt the company. That really hurt the company. And um, but anyways, guys. No, we we there could be a very small chance we might go live on Easter Sunday. Start shopping. But most likely will not. So we will probably we will try to have a surprise um, live stream, During maybe. Maybe during the week. It'll be in the evening. We'll try to do it in the evening, like, you know, right around the same time we normally have live streams. Um, but, yeah, or maybe Monday after um, after live stream Sunday. But, yeah, we're going to be spending time with family. And I want to, you know, we don't want to be have to get home to live stream. I know a lot of you guys would probably enjoy a live stream. But other than that, I think we're just going to spend some time with family. Do you smell um, something? Like burning? I don't smell nothing burning. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember the it was Jack in the Box. Maybe that's what I was. Jeff? Jack in the Box was the one that had issues. Okay, that's maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Jack in the Box was having the issues with. It was something about tainted meat from a. Um, Maybe lunch. From a. Um, oh, yes, that's another place I want to go to. Um, and they got some tainted beef or something. I thought that's what they said, and it was just a big bad thing. You should try to make a trip to Air, um, Mount Airy. Yeah, Jack went out of business. Yeah, there's Jack in the Box. They're mostly out west. There is a few floating around here on the east coast, mostly in the southern east coast. You, as far as I know, you can't find a Jack in the Box up in Michigan. We need to take a trip to Mount Erie and try snapping some contaminated lunch. meat, or something like that. A jack in a box is made with kangaroo meat. Wouldn't it be expensive though to like get kangaroo meat? That would be a delicacy. Probably in Australia. <laughs> Not here; it'd be a delicacy. They're mean. I didn't realize those kangaroos are that yeah. mean. I remember seeing kangaroos in the um, like Bugs Bunny cartoons and stuff, and they like they had their boxing gloves and stuff on. But I actually seen some videos, like on YouTube Shorts. Holy smokes! Some of them were like vicious, brutal. Uh, DTD, I, I agree with you. I think you will see Jack. I think Jack in the Box is already starting to kind of come back, you know, in certain areas. Uh, but. Yeah, they did. They did it. They totally disappeared from the East Coast. Uh, was it back in the '80s or something? But I, I'm starting to see them pop up, like in some areas. Kangaroos are not mean, Don. Hi, Doris. I see your comment. Well, the videos I come across on YouTube Shorts. Oh boy, that kangaroo that Don was watching. He was whooping everybody's butt. The one was <laughs> in the water. He, he was a big kangaroo. And he was in the water and he was drowning. He was stalking. Dog. He was and like the dog, guy had to go get his dog out of the water. Yeah. And the kangaroo was like drowning him, holding the dog his head like this, trying to drown him. And the guy had to go get him. It was scary. Yeah. The it one was, was come up to right to the guy's door and was started pounding on the guy's door. All right, guys. We are gonna say goodnight to y'all. Um, we're gonna but thank you all so much. Really appreciate you guys coming out and stopping tonight, doing a little chit chat. Um, and yet again, just a heads up, next Sunday there's a 
about 90% chance we will not be going live. We'll try to redo that either Monday after or maybe sometime in the middle of this week or I don't know, or maybe sometime this week. Maybe, you know, we might go live uh, to make up Have for it. Have a good night, everyone. But thank you all so much. Um, we really appreciate you all. Uh, yeah, we got some cool stuff coming up. I'm very excited. Um, after April, we start getting to May and June. We got some really cool stuff coming up, too. So that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, we love you. We will see you guys in the next video. Good night. Thanks to all of our moderators out there. Okay, Toe, Story has it. All you out there. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ken. Um, Karen was in here. Thank you so much. I'm probably forgetting somebody. but um, And uh, guys, that's it. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone.